Welcome to the shop, boys and girls. We're I'm going to show you this grill I built. Oh, probably 20 years ago, and I had a problem with grills. I love the charcoal flavor. And with gas ones, you know, you got a good chance of burning stuff up. Of course, you got a good chance of burning stuff up with a charcoal one, too. And we're going to put the whole bag in there. And we want this fire hot, 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 the way I designed this thing. is I wanted a charcoal grill to give me the charcoal flavor that doesn't burn food and then when I shut the lid on it I walk away and don't worry about it and not only that you don't have the fat dripping down uh, causing any kind of toxic flame so we're gonna get back to this or toxic smoke so we're gonna let that get going okay I'm gonna show you how we're gonna load it up now you see a nice good flame coming out of there and that's pretty much what you want Now, if you want to sear a steak or tuna or something like that, you do it over that. But for something that you're going to cook slowly for a little while, you set it right here. All right. Make sure that's shut. That's it. Walk away. All right. It's been about 15 minutes since we put it on. You can see all kinds of juices of the chicken dropping out here. No flaring up. You can sauce them, flip them, do whatever you want to. Because the fire is over there. It's not right here. So, to me, that's a good grill. It's 15 minutes I left it. Uh, covered up. All right, we shut the lid again. In another 10 minutes. See how it's made. We're not gonna go over what it's made out of. It's made out of 347 stainless steel. Any kind of steel will work though, but we just happened to have some and I rolled it. You gotta, the main thing is, this stays shut all the time, unless you're wanting to smoke or let some heat out, you'll keep that shut all the time. The heat comes up and goes down, and it, right now, I can put my hand over anything and nothing's going to flare up or anything, so that's the cool part about it. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes. You can add charcoal. You can't add match light or anything like that. Naturally, it's got fuel in it. But just regular charcoal, you can add it, let it go ahead, get going. And and then shut the lid back again. You don't have to pull. And that's another thing I hated about charcoal grills. You have, sometimes you have to add more charcoal. You have to take the food off the grill. You have to lift the grill up. This way I don't have to do anything. So when I made this thing, I pretty much took care of all the problems I had with barbecue grills and pretty much everybody else. Not only that, it's safer. So no flare-ups, no burn. You don't 
ruin your stuff. So I'm gonna let that cook in a little bit and then that's gonna be it. We're gonna come back in about five minutes. Okay, we're gonna take the final temperature. Uh, naturally we were looking for 165, somewhere around there. And Yeah, we're there. 